Hi everybody, my name is Jessie and I do perfume reviews in ASMR format. So if you like perfume and also if you enjoy ASMR, you are in a good place for our video today. Today I am reviewing, I've got this huge box here. of extra but in a great way so this is from the brand clean and it's the clean reserve line the, however oh yeah this is the avant avant garden collection that's cute it's like a play on words of avant garde avant garden collection and i think that all of these avant garden fragrances Maybe not all of them, but some of them at least are discontinued. This is an example of one that's discontinued. This one is called Mugwe and Skin. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Mugwe and Skin. And I believe Mugwe means, um, I think it means lily. Let's see, in French. Yeah, like Willy of the Valley. So I'm assuming this has a, uh, yeah, this has a Willy of the Valley note in the fragrance. Um, it says actually some of the notes on here, and it's in the family Woody Musk. Um, I was interested to try this perfume. Because it's musky and it's woody it has patchouli so it's got some notes that really interested me um, and I like a lot of the other clean clean fragrances um, there's some other clean beauty fragrances clean beauty collective is the brand that are um, kind of musky and I really like so I thought I might like this as well oh, I have to sneeze goes away. But anyway, I'll show you the bottle. So here's the bottle. It is kind of a heavy, dense bottle. It's good quality. It's got a very thick glass base. As you can tell, it's a different sound when you tap on very thick glass versus thinner glass. This is still not this is still pretty thick, but a different sound. And then um, all of the Clean Reserve fragrances have these wooden tops. So I like the bottle. I mean, I don't know that I love it, but I like it. As you can see, this one has like a purple tint to it. And the other ones in this line, I think, have different colors associated with them. Also, this might, of all of the brands that I own, when, and I don't own this one, I'm reselling it, but of all of the brands that I do own in my personal collection, I think this is the brand that I might own the most from. I have four that I own in my collection, and I will briefly touch on these fragrances um, a little later in the video, so stay tuned. But yeah, I do like this brand. Um, and not on purpose, like none of the fragrances in my collection I, I've gotten because they're a certain brand. Like I just literally like the smell and so I keep it. Also, um, I am just wearing what I was wearing today. The green, this is not really a green perfume, but it does have patchouli in it. And it's just kind of like a, it is kind of a more earthy, woody, natural smelling perfume. And I was too tired to change my outfits. I have been very tired lately. 
I will explain more either soon or possibly by the time this video is out. I will have explained why I'm so tired and just not feeling myself lately. But anyway, these are the earrings that I'm wearing, which do have some white and some wood, or, you know, some brown, which is good because this fragrance is woody and it's musky and it's got Lily of the Valley and I think some other white florals. So, that is the look for today's video. Okay, so let's start by going over the notes, no, sorry, going over the main accords for this fragrance. So I'm on fragrantica.com and we have main accords of woody, musky, amber, white floral, patchouli, sweet, powdery, and warm spicy. And of course, I forgot to spray the fragrance. I always do that. So let's go ahead and give it a spray. This is my last little um, tag from this particular box. So that is done. And today we have butterflies. Alright, so I'm gonna give this a spray. Perfect. That was just the right amount. Didn't need too much. This is actually a very strong fragrance and I find it to have very good longevity, like too good actually. It's like you need to wash your clothes otherwise it won't come out of your clothes type of thing. Okay, so it's definitely earthy, it's woody, but not in like an oody type of way. It is a musky woody sort of scent. It's a musky earthy woody sort of vibe. I don't even remember what the woods are. Probably sandalwood. And I don't know the others, but there might be like some ambroxan or something as well. Um, I do get some patchouli and maybe just a hint of the white floral coming through. So, yeah. Alright, let's um, go ahead and look at the notes. So for this fragrance, we have... We've got two top notes listed. And they are cardamom and freesia. So freesia is another white floral. And then cardamom is a spice. I do get a touch of cardamom. I wouldn't have been able to tell you, but now that I'm smelling for it, I feel like I get a touch of it. And freesia, I mean, honestly, I don't know. There's three white florals in here, and I can't really tell you which one I feel like I'm getting. Okay, for our middle notes, we've got three middle notes. And they are Lily of the Valley, Jasmine, so those are the two other white florals besides freesia. And we've also got heliotrope, which is a purple floral. Heliotrope is more powdery, almost maybe like almondy, vanilla. Um, yeah, different sort of vibe than white florals. So it's definitely a powdery fragrance. I'm not sure that I'm like necessarily getting heli heliotrope, but oh, it's a powdery scent. And I'm, I would say I'm getting the white florals. I just can't tell you like, oh yeah, it's Lily of the Valley or Freesha or Jasmine. Okay. And then we have six 
bass notes so that we have a lot of bass notes and this is what I'm picking up on mostly in this fragrance so we have Ambroxan Musk Patchouli Woody Notes so nondescript Woody Notes Praline and clear wood and I think clear wood is a it's like a kind of a fantasy note but let me look clear wood yeah it's a mole a molecule that was made by a particular company but it says a soft woody transparent patchouli without dirty noise earthy hue so kind of soft woody mossy type vibe so I for sure I'm getting the Ambroxan, the patchouli, muskiness, I guess I could say I'm probably getting some of that clear wood, some woodiness, and I can see the praline note. It's definitely not a sweet fragrance, but it does have just a slight sweetness to it. Could also be coming from some of the floral notes. But it's not sweet by any means, but it just gives it a little bit of a little bit of rounding out. This is I just locked my husband out of the house and I had to let him in and now I forget what I was talking about. Sweetness? Was I talking about the sweetness? I feel like I moved on to another topic. Oh, I think I was just saying like, do I like this fragrance? And I Honestly, like, I could not really make up my mind, which is why I'm reselling it. It's like, part of me is like, oh wow, I really like that, and I don't have that many woody fragrances, so my mind wanted to have a very woody fragrance, and it is very woody, but it's very musky, and it's got some other nuances. So... Yeah, but I don't know. There's just something about it that I wasn't, it just wasn't quite clicking 100%. Or it's like this sort of fragrance where I think one spray would do it, but even two sprays might be like a little bit too much. So anyway, I do like it, but I think just not enough to keep it. And I don't think this is a safe blind buy. Um... It's just not necessarily going to be crowd-pleasing to probably a lot of people, but if you like musky, woody, more kind of earthy type scents, um, you might like this. So, um, let's go ahead and, sorry, let's go ahead and look at, um, some other info on this fragrance. So it has a rating of 3.72, which is not super great. It's not awful, but it's only been rated 29 times. One of those was me, which I said I like it. I didn't say I loved it, but I said I liked it. Um, and also by other people, it's being rated as having very good longevity, which I agree with. Siage is being rated as a little bit more intimate. I don't agree. I think that, well, I don't know. I think that anybody in range of you, if they get close enough within a few feet, I think they'd be able to smell it as long as you sprayed more than once. But it's musky, so I can see how it can kind of read as a skin scent, but I think it's a very strong skin scent. I wouldn't call it a skin scent. Gender, it's being rated as pretty dang unisex, like kind of in the middle, maybe just a touch feminine. I agree. Price value, it's being rated as pretty mid-range price value. I think I paid $60 for this. Mind you, it's discontinued, so it probably could have gotten it a little cheaper if it were not discontinued. And I think I just sold this for $55, so I lost a little bit of money, which is often the case with my buying and reselling fragrances, but that's okay. So that's some more information on this and we'll go ahead and read some reviews, but before we do that, 
I did just want to briefly touch on the other fragrances that I, oh my gosh, I left a review for this fragrance. I need to, I need to read it, read my own review because I never have read my own review on Fragrantica. Anyway, let's go ahead and touch on some of these other clean fragrances. So this one is from the, just the original Clean Reserve line. And this one's called Radiant Nectar. This is one of their most popular ones. Probably their most popular one might just be Clean Reserve Skin. I have the Clean Classic Skin, not the Clean Reserve Skin, but they smell very similar. That one's like super popular. This is might be like their second most popular. So Radiant Nectar, um, it's a good name. It smells um, to me like a very sweet, juicy, ambery pear. Yeah, it's kind of like a little bit like musky, powdery. I think there's a pear note in here. If there's not, I'll be shocked, but I think there's a pear note. It's almost like an autumn pear. Like it's a almost overripe, sort of ambery, slightly fall vibes. Like it almost smells like there's a touch of I don't know, like mulling spice fall vibes in here or something, but I think it's just the amber. But yeah, it's, yeah, it's really nice. I really like this fragrance a lot. So that is Clean Reserve Radiant Nectar. And then here is the Clean Skin that I mentioned, the Clean Classic Skin. Don't have the top. Got this on eBay for probably like $17, so I got a really good price. This is um, very musky and it's got some floral notes, some kind of aquatic fruity type notes, but it's mostly just clean kind of aquatic floral musk. It, it is more of a skin scent, but again, if you spray a few times, I think people would smell you, but just not really read it as a perfume. Just read you as smelling kind of like clean laundry, warm. It's like very, it's very clean and fresh, but not in a like sharp, bright sort of way. It's more like warm, cozy, sort of clean, which is really nice. So there's that. Then I've got these two, which are, they're both called Clean Cashmere. This one's Clean Cashmere. And then I assume this was like a flanker to it, Clean Warm Cashmere. Um, so to start off with the Clean Cashmere, this one is definitely more like, um, laundry vibes like I was just saying a minute ago like this is not this one is not clean in like a sharp way more of like a warm fuzzy way this one's a little bit more sharp like it smells almost a little soapy it smells almost a little squeaky clean it's got a lavender note so it's also kind of calming and cooling it definitely has a cool tone to it like it has like like the color on there is kind of like a good it's like kind of a cool gray blue almost kind of tone but yeah it's like fairly subtle and again if you wore this i don't think people would really read it as perfume so much as just um like you smell clean you smell kind of like clean laundry sort of deal so there's that. Just one second. Okay, I was just making sure we were recording because I don't know why, but I, I got this idea in my mind that maybe it wasn't recording. Um, and then the clean warm cashmere is kind of similar, but it's warmer. It's musky. That's what these two have in common. They're musky, but... I don't know, this one like isn't super, like if this is cashmere, it's like a cool cashmere, you know? 
this is like a warm fluffy cashmere um this has a little bit of fruitiness i think it's a black currant note and i think it also has one or a couple citrus notes like bergamot or maybe something else um it's got vetiver they might both have vetiver so it's got kind of like a natural grassy woodiness to it and it's got a couple other notes but this has been compared to Bayredo's Balde Afrique, which is a very popular, expensive fragrance, and I have not smelled it in a while, so I can't like do, I can't tell you a side by side how much I think they smell like. But a lot of people in the reviews of Clean Warm Cashmere said that this reminds them of Balde Afrique, so I think this might be discontinued. But yeah, I'm not sure. So. Those are my other clean beauty collective fragrances. And let's go ahead and do a read some reviews of this fragrance. Um, I'm going to start with reading my review. So I said, I smell the original clean skin, which I also own. DNA, so I, I smell the original Clean Skin DNA in this, plus a lot of woodiness, but in a pleasant and musky way. The woody notes smell earthy to me in a fairly dry and powdery way. I do pick up on just a touch of cardamom and just a hint of florals that I could not put my finger on without seeing the notes. Mostly musk, woods, and a touch of warmth and spice from the cardamom and the patchouli. I really like it so far, but this is my first wear of it. So yeah, that's what I said. I said I like it. I said I could see it being good for um, mostly fall and winter. I could see it day or night. That's what I said. Okay, well, let's go ahead and read another view. This is somebody who is kind of meh about it. They said, as a lover of clean reserve skin, I got this as soon as I saw it, not even thinking to sample beforehand. But uh, don't be like me. This is much more woody. Not in a bad way. It's lovely. But if you aren't prepared for it, you might be quite disappointed. I also get quite a bit less floral sweetness, making it a bit more masculine. Yeah, it's definitely very woody, musky, earthy. I think some people would be very put off by it, but some people wouldn't. Some people would really like it. So, okay, let's go ahead and read one more review, see if I can find somebody who doesn't like it. There's like hardly any reviews. Okay, this person says, I have tried all of the clean avant-garde scents and this has to be my least favorite. Full disclosure, I'm not a fan of clean scents in general, but I love much of the clean reserve and clean avant-garde line. So I wanted to give this one a fair try. It smells strongly of the skin component right away. And in the dry down, that's all you are left with. I was hoping that I would smell some of the woody notes, which I generally like, but they were a wall. If you really like clean reserves other cleans other skin scents, this may be for you. But if you are expecting something more multifaceted, at least try before you buy. I think this definitely does have a woodiness, like I get woody notes, but um, the, in a very like musky sort of way. So I guess I could see why somebody would feel like those notes are not there. Um, yeah, so that is my review of Clean Reserve Avant Garden Collections Mugue and Skin. I hope you enjoyed the review. Like I said, this is discontinued, so if you really, really feel like you might like it, you should probably go and buy it sooner than later. 
and be willing to resell it if you don't like it because this is not necessarily a, it's definitely not a blind, a safe blind buy. Okay, everybody, um, I'm sending you all peace, love, harmony, and beauty, and I'll catch you all again soon. Okay.